Hi everyone! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to the civil service exam and other active tests like the OPCAT, LAE, LET, LET for those of you who want to be a teacher. And this video in particular is going to be about Venn diagram. So if you notice, um, medyo may background noise kasi tag-ulan nga dito sa Manila. But good news, we have finally secured okay lighting. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, dahil meron ng ilaw, pwede na akong mag-lesson kahit gabi. And masaya rin kasi uh, ibig sabihin na pwede na tayo mag-record ng live uh, Facebook live events where I can teach you all. So exciting stuff, more stuff coming up. Uh, and again, if you are not yet part of Team Laika, please subscribe to this channel kasi dito nyo malalaman kung may bagong video magpo-post. Also, go to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. Kasi doon uh, lumalabas sa tan news, yung mga exercises every day that I post, doon nyo siya ma-access. Alright? You can also reach me through that page. So, this video, like I said, is about the Venn diagram. If you have a workbook, yeah, meron kayong Team Laika workbook. Number one, uh, ang Venn diagram natin dito ay nasa page. Saan ba yun? <laughs> Ayan, sa page 29. Sa page 29. Okay? So, if you have a workbook, you can follow along and you can answer the exercises sa ilalim. Alright? But if you don't, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to show you how to solve it naman on my PC. So, I'm going to show you... Uh, kung paano gawin and you're, and you're also going to see the problem that I made for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my PC right now. Hold on. So we're going to talk about Venn diagrams. Ang itsura ng Venn diagram is like this. Ito yung nasa left side. Okay, so meron siyang mga bilog. Yung bilog na yun, ibig sabihin ko ano yung label ng bilog na yun, yun yung laman ng bilog. So ibig sabihin for this one, important for you to know kung ano yung legend or kung ano yung ibig sabihin niya. Yung nasa bilog na A, those are the students who love math. So, ibig sabihin, lahat na nasa loob ng A, itong bilog na to, those are the students na gusto nila ng math. Sa B naman, those are the students who love English. Okay? So, sa loob ng bilog na, na A, merong 30 students who uh, love math. Um, dito may 45 who love English, only English, pero meron tayong intersection right here. So, if you see yung intersection right here, ang ibig sabihin yan, these are the students who like both math and English. 14, itong 14 na ito nasa labas, ibig sabihin, itong mga estudyante na ito, ayaw nila ng math, ayaw nila ng English. Probably recess ang favorite na ng subject. Okay? Taas-taas yung ng kamay yung mga uh, thumbs up ninyo kung isa kayo dun sa mga students na ganun. Okay? So, ang best way for us to know kung paano mag-deal with Venn diagrams is for us to answer yung mga questions that usually lumalabas. I'm just going to erase all of the ink here. And then, we're going to start. Okay. So, sabi, how many students only like math? Ang mga words that you have to take note of are, yan, yung only. Okay? Nakita niyo yung only. Pag sinabing only, ibig sabihin, ayaw niya ng ibang subject. Gusto niya math lang. So, pag tinignan natin yung Venn diagram na to, incomplete siya actually kasi walang label na sa gitna. Pero ang 30, okay, ito yung mga sadyante na gusto nila ng math, pero kung natitignan niyo walang intersection dun sa B, hindi siya affected ng B. So, ang answer sa unang question is 30. 30 ang number ng students who only like math, itong part na to. Okay? Ngayon, number 2, how many students like neither math nor English? Pag sinabing neither, ibig sabihin not either. Ibig sabihin, negative, ayaw niya. Ayaw niya ng math, ayaw niya ng English. So, again, itong mga nasa bilog na to are the people who like Math, English, or both. So, ang tinatanong, how many students ang ayaw ng math at English? The answer would be ito, yung 14 yung nasa labas. So, uh, the answer here, number 2 is 14. Okay? Ang key sa Venn diagram is a little bit of arithmetic, pero more on comprehension. Ano, ala, kailangan nyo malaman kung ano talaga ang hinahanap. Okay? So, again, you have to understand yung question. Number 3, how many students like both subjects? So, sabing both, okay, it's another important word to take note of. Pag both, ibig sabihin, pasok siya sa dalawang bilog. So, again, we have yung intersection na to. Ngayon, the thing is, hindi natin alam, okay, exactly kung ilan yung uh, nasa gitna. Pero, magkakaroon, pwede tayo magkaroon ng clue dyan if we know kung ilan yung students in total, okay, na sinurvey. Okay, kasi intersection hindi natin alam. So, for 
ganito ang gagawin natin, ha? For example, ang nakalagay is that uh, if uh, there were uh, sabihin natin, 40 students who liked math, okay? Idudugtong natin to doon sa tanong. So, ganyan to. If only, if there were 40 students who liked math, how many students liked both subjects? Okay? So, huwag kayong makakonfuse kasi bakit 40 dito e eh dito 30? Ang key dyan is yung kawalan ng word na only. Okay? So, sa number 1 nakalagay only. Dito wala eh. 40 students like math. Ibig sabihin gusto nila ng math. Pero, not only math. Okay? So, ibig sabihin doon, kung meron ka ng 30 dito, at ang total daw ng nasa loob ng bilog na A ay 40, ibig sabihin, itong part na to na hindi natin bilhin sa 30 would be 10. So, the answer here na how many students like both subjects would be 10. Okay? So, number 4. How many students did not like math? So, pag sinabing did not like math, ibig sabihin nasa loob ng bilog na A yung mga gusto ng math, ang hinahanap natin yung not, ibig sabihin nyo nasa labas. So, the answer here, ang common mistake here is people will answer 45 kasi yun yung nasa labas. They forget this 14. Again, kung ayaw mo ng math, kasama ka. Kahit na ayaw mo rin ng English. So, the answer here would be 45 plus 14 which is 59. Okay? So, question, how many students were surveyed in total? So, i-add lang natin sila lahat. So, you have 30, 10, which is 40, 45, so it turns into 85, plus 14, which is 99. So the answer here is 99. Okay? Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please click thumbs up. That way, alam ko na nakakatulong sa inyo yung mga videos. It really is encouraging when I see a lot of people na may thumbs up dun sa videos. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, uh, I, can, I, ha parang, I have to make more content related to that topic okay so uh, i'll see you on my next video there are more of these coming up really soon and quick announcement if you are going to take the civil service exam on march 2017 there is an upcoming uh relatively free super discounted uh event uh review event uh coming up it's going to be held in horizon ministries in manila so um bayad doon is just 50 pesos five zero pesos Para lang sa review materials that you're going to get. Okay? So, if you want to avail of that, you can click on the link below. There is a Google sign-up sheet. However, okay, you only sign up if you are 100% sure that you're going to attend. Because if you sign up kayo hindi kayo mag attend I'm going to uh, take note of those names. Because sa susunod na uh, event, you will not be allowed to attend that. Okay? So, again, it's going to be on January 14, 1 to 5 p.m. sa Horizon Ministries in Manila. More details about this will be posted really soon. So, please go to my Facebook account para makita niyo yan sa Facebook page. Alright? See you guys online. And please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can click on the picture right here to subscribe. You can click here to catch up to see all of the other videos already posted. God bless you guys. Happy learning. Adja, adja kayo niya.